welcome to everyone. I'd like to thank, first of all, the great partnership we've had from the people here at Mars, who have shown us uh, fantastic hospitality and helped us make a, uh, what I think is going to be a very fascinating event for everyone tonight. And uh, to help create the, uh, the atmosphere of welcome for our very special guests this evening from Peru. Beginning with Ambassador Lopez, I'd like to welcome her to Canada. She's new to Canada, new to her position as Peru's ambassador. And especially the four master artisans who've come to, uh, to visit us from four regions of Peru, Shipibo people from the Amazon, uh, the Cusco uh, Sacred Valley, master weavers, Catacaos, the finest uh, natural fiber weavers in the world, and the uh, Puno people near Lake Titicaca, where the softest fiber known to man, maybe Suri alpaca, is found. We're very grateful that you've come all this way. And you know, people who visit Canada in the winter, we know are our true friends. So, thank you very much for coming. It makes me very proud to be a Canadian and to work on such a project as this. Uh, it seems something to be groundbreaking in that we are, for the first time, seeing two governments partner on a project, a trade project, and invest in it uh, and nurture it and, uh, and work with it and study it as if it was worth billions and billions of dollars like big trade projects are, but this isn't. This is what's called micro-trade, which is an economist term. It simply means small trade. It's also called uh, inclusive trade. Uh, some people call it people-to-people -people trade. The World Bank calls it the future of trade on the planet. Hi everyone in Canada and here. This is Magali Silva, the Ministry of Foreign Trade and Tourism of Peru. Finally, the great day is today, and we are honored to present you a new model for Peruvian handcraft that we have been working with Tony and Cameron for the past um, year and a half. And we've done remarkable progress with our artisans from four regions. <laughs> 